Happy Pride! My name is Kimberly Weider and I am owner and CEO for Elder Care Solutions. We are on a mission to guide families to a more financially positive caregiving and aging experience. So many families face financial strain when they take on the care of an elderly loved one and we want to combat that and change the narrative where everyone can experience an aging chapter and a caregiving experience that is in a more financially positive space. I also am a proud member of the LGBTQ community, so this month we will definitely focus on pride and I want to talk specifically about caregiving for an elder LGBTQ community member. Throughout their lives, many LGBTQ elders have experienced things like discrimination, social stigma, lack of legal protections, and social isolation. Because of this, many of them can have fear or even hesitation towards engaging with aging services or healthcare services, and that can make caregiving for an elder LGBTQ member a little tricky. So I'm gonna give you some tactics to overcome some of those challenges. Although we have made substantial gains socially and legally in the LGBTQ community, there are still many healthcare providers and leaders of aging community services that are unprepared to support our elder LGBTQ members meaningfully. These rights and social gains that we have gained are directly impacted by the elder members of our community. They were the ones who were brave enough to get those rights for us. So we must support them meaningfully. I will give you a personal experience. Even in 2022, we can experience these discriminations. I was engaging with a licensed dietitian for my own health care. It was important to me to include my partner in those conversations because she is a beautiful member of the Latina community and has given my family some of the most wonderful taco nights we have ever experienced. She also helps with the workload of forming dinner every night and I wanted to make sure that both of us were cooking with the nutritional requirements that I needed and in a healthy way for our entire family. No matter how many times I brought my partner up, that dietitian would only refer to her as my friend. While this may seem like a small thing, it is a very concentrated effort to not respect my membership in the LGBTQ community. I gave that person the language to use and they refused to use it. Simple things like this is what does not create a safe space for us. You as a caregiver and an ally to your elder LGBTQ loved one, you have a right and responsibility to look for these little microaggressions. So what can you do as a caregiver that can make caregiving a little bit easier as well as create a healthy environment for your loved one? One of the first and easy things that you can do is create a safe place for your elderly loved one. This can be done as simply as affirming the feelings that they have, which may be fears or negative feelings towards engaging with healthcare services or aging services, and affirm with them that their feelings are real and they are coming from experiences where they have been treated at, as other, where they have been discriminated or rejected care, or where they were traumatized. Acknowledging their feelings and acknowledging that they are real is the first step. You should also understand that all members of the LGBTQ community have intersectionalities with our identities. If your elderly loved one also identifies in another marginalized group, such as a racial minority, an ethnic minority, as a woman, if they have a military status, if they are in the lower socioeconomic identity, 
or if they have a religious or spiritual identity that is different, they can also experience discrimination based on those intersectionalities. When you look for home care, home health, or even community living environments to engage in care for your elderly loved one, look for things that might be friendly towards LGBTQ community members. The signs of a friendly environment are diversity reflected in their literature, their brochures, or their websites. If they're open to showing the diversity that we see in our normal community environments, they are often open to being a friendly environment for all diverse communities. Also look for purposeful language in the applications or the intake forms that specifically call out variations in sexual orientation, gender identities, and marital status. Also, this is very important, ask if you do not see it specifically, but make sure that families of choice are included in both the decision-making and the care plans. And lastly, also look for organizations that are highlighting LGBTQ events or other organizations. Look for ones that are sponsoring events or programs that represent diverse communities as well as specifically LGBTQ communities. So let's talk specifically about the financial part of caregiving. Since 2013, the federal government has recognized the legal rights of same-sex couples. However, every state does not. So you need to look at your state and see if they recognize those rights. This can impact applicable tax deductions for a same-sex couple. It also can impact whether the spouse can be carried on the insurance plan. Regardless of a coupling, all LGBTQ community members do have access to some out-of-the-box financial strategies. It is worth looking at housing wealth strategies. If the loved one that you're caring for owns and lives in the home where they are receiving care, there are a variety of ways that you can leverage home equity to pay for long-term care. It is also worth taking a look at some of the innovative and creative products out there in the long-term care insurance and life insurance policy world. Some of these new products are great additions to the long-term care paying spectrum. And always, always look local. Take a look at your community resources such as your Area Agency on Aging, also a Center for Independent Living, the Alzheimer's Association that is local to you, and are there any other nonprofits that might specifically support LGBTQ aging citizens? They may have services or even products that are free for you to utilize and can make your caregiving a little bit more positive. So happy pride to all of my members of the LGBTQ community. And if you are a leader in the care economy who is running a business or an LGBTQ friendly business, thank you so much.